Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question or lead code regarding immediate food delivery first part and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in DoorDesk interviews over a couple of times in last two years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called delivery with four different columns, delivery ID, customer ID, order date, and customer preferred delivery date. And these are their data types. Delivery ID being the primary key of this table. The table holds information about the food delivery to customers that make orders at some date and specify a preferred delivery date, right? So if the customer's preferred delivery date is same as the order date, then the order is called immediate. Otherwise it is scheduled. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the percentage of immediate orders in the table. And then we need to round that to two decimal places. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So here we are given basically six different orders and ordered by various customers, the day they ordered and the, when they want the delivery, right? So immediate is, how is immediate defined here? Immediate is defined when the order date is same as customer preferred delivery date, right? So how many of those we, we have here? So this one, one and this one, right? So two out of six we have uh, which, which can be called immediate deliveries and rest are, you know, the next day or few days after the order date, right? So two divided by six multiplied by 100 is 33.33%, right? So that is the immediate percentage. So if you think about it, it's very simple. What we can do is we can, you know, uh, make a case when statements and say that when your order date is equal to customer preferred delivery date, then you take it as a one. And if it is not, then you take it as a zero, you create a sum and then you round it off, right? Uh, to go sequentially, what you can do is, you know, you can add a fifth column and use the case when statement that when this is equal to this, right? So you add one here in that column, if not add a zero and then take the sum, divide by count star, multiplied by 100 and round to two, right? But instead of making one different column here, we can do this directly as well. So let's go through this, right? So let me just shift it here. So from this table called delivery, what we are doing is we are returning the sum and then what we need to do is we need to em employ case when statements, right? So when, so case when our order date is equal to customer preferred delivery date, then we count it as one, right? If it is not, else we count it as zero. You end the case statement, right? So this is going to give you the sum, right? So in this case, it will be giving you two because for this, it is going to be zero, one, one, zero, zero, zero. So when you sum it, sum all the zero, one, one, zero, 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 it will be giving you two. Now we need to divide this sum by what? The total number of rows we have or total number of or deliveries that we that are scheduled that are there right so you divide this entire thing so divide this entire thing by number of rows and how do we know the number of rows count star right so now this will give you a fraction so 2 divided by 6 we need percentage so we multiply the entire thing by 100 right so multiply by 100 and then what we need to do is we we get your percent so in this case it would be 33.333333 like in infinite number of threes right but we need to order uh, round them by round round them to two decimal places right so what we do is round this entire thing so this percentage thing right to two decimal places 
right and our output should have the column name to be immediate percentage so we can alias it as immediate percentage so yeah this should run let's go ahead and see what happens so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see what happens so yeah this is accepted as well this is a success and this is how we solve this again we can employ the longer way and basically what i am doing here is doing the same thing right but now i am making it in a concise manner so that you know we can understand that case when statements can be you know utilized row by row as well so instead of making a fifth column and storing one and zero values there and then storing the entire thing in a common table expression and then from common table expressions you know uh, doing the sum divided by all the rows multiplying by 100 and then doing the round we can directly do it here as well right so yeah let me know guys if this video was helpful uh, and until then i will see you guys in the next video